Oosh. Uh, hey everybody, welcome to Friday. We made it another week in the books for the most part, give or take. Pat yourselves on the back, good job. Uh, let's see what I have to do today. All right, so I've got some Pirate prep, and I've got some Star Crawl prep. In Star Crawl, uh, I'm repping two Michigan legends over here, Founders and uh, Viva La Dungeon from the Liching Hour. Hello, Shinobi. Good to see ya. Thanks for stopping in. And then there's Calvin texting me in Discord, like right when um, I go live. You know. <laughs> you were just complaining about it on stream earlier today, dude. <laughs> I think I can turn over, turn off one of these widgets. I think I turn this widget off. Look at that. There we go. That's better. I'm gonna use Incarnate. So in the um, Starcrawl game this week, they finished the Chlorophane Mines. So if I go into the folder here. Uh, they fit they finished this these maps right here um it's all done it's all done so uh worked really well i did some some fancy stuff that i didn't know i could do in incarnate last week and i did this week uh which i'll show you but that's good that's a good thing because i'm growing i'm expanding i'm learning learning oh. <coughs> Yeah, here's that map uh, that we just used on um, on Tuesday or Wednesday, sorry. And this corner down here is Mother's Chill Out Corner now. It's basically like radioactive weed <laughs> and vines. And there's like a big skull buried in the rock right here. That was the throne of the big bad guy. And then there's a statue of Clangadan there from the Forgotten Realms. Yeah, it was a good map. But we're done with that, and now I have to decide. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. Remember this map I made of the Calvinian Ranch? I'm going to reuse it because why not? Right? Just going to change it up a little, reuse it. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. Okay, so I'm going to save this map because I don't want to screw it up. So I'm just going to save as a clone and make. Um, I'll call it, uh, Circle Calvin, I'm going to put a K in there, Circle Calvin Ranch, there, now it's Circle Calvin, it's like Circle K, see, Circle K, get it, haha. Uh -huh. Circle K Ranch. next one I make is going to be called you saw uh, there was a miracle there that's enough to make people believe in God preacher got shot down and done done somehow stood back up and shot someone in the head yeehaw well because of the situation in Starcrawl where they've now finished the mine um, I'm gonna I'm gonna weird this uh, this map up some so instead of just this little well here I'm gonna put like a big metal outlet pipe because um, they're gonna. Hello, Bart. How are ya? Forgot to say hi. <laughs> Dungeon Painter Pro. What's uh? Tell me about that. Dungeon Painter Pro. I'll look it up later. I want to look it up right now. Let's see. I need a big metal circle. Big metal circle. It's gonna be like a tube going into the ground. I am doing well, thank you. Um. Tired. I didn't wake up till like 11 because of uh, being up late last night. Maybe. I don't know. All right. Let's see. I need a big metal pipe. Um, I'll show you. See, like the well just doesn't do it for me. It's got to be like the, uh, maybe in the steampunk section. Because there's like a steampunky. There's like a steampunk. Uh, 
Uh, don't go by. Ooh, this one right here. This will work. Metal pipes in the dwarves. Excellent. Uh, oddly, it's the same metal pipe as... It's going to be like that big. It's going to be huge. Uh, I'm going to put it down here. And it's going to be covered in these bushes. So I'm going to take these... I'm just going to copy and paste in here, sort of. Some happy little bushes, as Bob Ross would have, said, would have said. Just put your happy little bushes right there. Everything will be just fine. Here's a happy little bush. There's another happy little bush. Oh, that's a very happy little bush right there. Look at that happy little bush right there. Ooh. Only one on one, one shot we're dealing for her. Oh, that's good. That's cool. She's good people. That jelly got though. She'll be live on the Litching Hour tomorrow night for the Apocabitch Rojo. The Apocabit Rojo. Okay, so these are going to be more of those vines. Oh, those vines. That's what I need. Those vines from the from Mother's Chill Out Corner. That's what I need. I need those same vines. Where are they? They're these right here. Yep, those are the ones. Those are definitely the ones. All right, and I'm gonna flip on random stamps. Yeah, cool. They're just gonna like grow out. This is called repurposing <laughs> for a whole different game. Oh, I like it. Oh man, look at that. That's a whole nother chill out corner, isn't it? <laughs> well, I'm gonna turn that one sideways. Yeah, there we go, there we go. Uh, not that one. How can I... Can I force it to... I gotta learn how to do that. Oh, can I just like hit two? Two. Control two. Control two. Shift two. No. Right. Put it in there. Oh, I like that one. Oh, yeah, there we go. Alright. Crazy stuff growing out. And then, um... Now, there have been some foreshadows of enemies in the area for one of the uh, player characters. And those enemies are going to come to fruition. Worse. No. Worse. This one here. Yep, about that big. <laughs> oh my god. Godzilla sized horses. <laughs> That's called multitasking, Jeremy, and you're apparently being very good at it. Good job, everybody. Good job. <laughs> if you missed our Boot Hill game, uh, this ranch doesn't look familiar. If you saw the Boot Hill game, then you know that this was the Calvinian ranch. But it is now going to be... Uh, it's now going to be the Circle K... Circle Calvin with a K, Circle K Ranch. <laughs> because I'm going to reuse the map because I'm smart or lazy or both. I don't know. Um, I'm going to reuse the map so that uh, because there was just trying to measure this horse based on the bed. Yeah, six foot head to tail, about that big. I did some foreshadowing of enemies from one of the characters' hypothetical past. And that's going to be uh, Max and Malcolm. Going to be on these horses. Efficiency, yes. Yes, very good business speak. I'm being highly efficient today by repurposing uh, previously um, developed resources into a whole new asset so that I can uh, efficiently utilize the available time uh, for in the workplace. <laughs> I, too, was in corporate America. Well, apparently there are, and some people have been doing them because they don't know how cameras work. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to put them way out. Oh, I'm going to hide them behind this building, as a matter of fact. I'll hide them behind that building. Like, they're just rolling in. 
Now it would be really cool if I had cowboys to put on them. But I do. They're in roll 20. So if I go over to roll 20. Yeah, if they catch you doing this. Oh, what's going on there? Oh, hey, look. I'm fancy. I think that's uh, Alt 2 and Alt 3 and Alt 4. I don't remember. Control 3. Control 4. It's a snap camera. Who didn't? Why didn't you tell me I'm fancy? Ugh. Now I'm a robot. All right, I'm back. Uh, so if they see you doing this on the stream, you can just be like, oh, no, I'm going to roll a die. <laughs> Keep those handy. Uh, you know, in case you get caught doing something you're not supposed to be doing on the, on the stream. Okay. All right, roll 20. So, um, cowboys. I got me some cowboys. Ba -ba -ba -da. We can go to the star crawl here. Cause I'm going to put this map in here sooner or later. Launch game. Whew. So I'm not going to worry about the uh, the cowboys on the horses because I'm pretty sure I bought a cowboy token pack. Everybody see this roll? You see this roll right here? A 27 critical hit for 17 points of damage and they followed up with 15 to destroy. My library. Um, no, premium assets, marketplace purchase, Wild Wild West, Ooh, Wild Wild West, Wild West. You think I could put one of these on a horse? Let's see, I need someone that's running or standing with like their legs. Oh yeah, this will work. She could be on a horse. He, he's going to be on a horse. That's going to be Malcolm, the gambler. And then Max is a little different. See if I can find an appropriate token. Hmm. All right. Yeah, this is good. So this, this, these weeds have grown up out of this pipe. Oh, that's how they're going to climb the pipe. As a matter of fact, this is exactly it. This is how they're going to climb the pipe to get out of the mine. It's a long slog, but I'm not going to make them roll or anything for it. I want them to get out of it for real, for real. I'm trying to find a leather boy. <laughs> leather boys! Or a leather hell monkey. That was our X-Crawl team name last night, Other Hell Monkeys. We did horribly. That, that Anaheim is so difficult. It's crazy. Ooh. I pitched a big business thing today to a local. And uh, maybe I... ideas it's good oh I am your favorite nerd aren't I big heart CIO gamer it's hard for me to call you that when I know who you really are in person and we've known each other for like 20 some years now I'm well by the way thank you for asking a little tired uh, had a late night stream and of course um, 
Luckily, I didn't have to wake up with Liana today. She's over at her mom's house, so I was able to sleep till like 10.30. Woohoo! Alright, oh, yeah, so we're map making. Okay. Okay, so there's this, uh... There's this, uh, tunnel entrance here. Let's see if I can pull it out of there now. I want this one. Yep. Can I raise that a level? I'll raise... Oh, see? Now we, now we kind of know it's there a little more. That makes a little more sense. Now we know it's there. These vines have grown out of it. It's an extension of uh, this map here. So if I go down to... So this is where we let off on Wednesday. Is they had just killed all these bad guys with X's over them. Now the idea is that they're going to go over here. Because this cloud's going to expand. I'm going to start pushing them. What it's going to do is it's going to block off uh, this axis. It's going to be like... So I want them to go over to here. And you'll see this pipe right here. Pew, pew. And they can start clambering up that pipe. And then they'll come out right here. And I want this to be broken down. So I'm going to take these beds out. I'm going to have it, I'm going to have the walls a little crumbled. Like it's been abandoned for a while. But this here, this here Circle Calvin with a K Ranch, Circle K Ranch, it's been, it's been abandoned for a little while. We, we know, oh, I forgot to put a toilet in the other outhouse. Just copy that, put that over here. Here's your toilet, folks. All right, so I'm going to get some broken beds. I got to work on some NPC voices, too, so. Oh, what was it? A broken beds? Bed. But a broken, oh, broken royal bed, broken beds. Here we go right here. Look, there's like a whole thing over there. Oh, perfect. Ain't that perfect? Look how pretty that is. I'm going to put that little broken bed right there. Mm-hmm, sure am. I can't do that for like four hours. <laughs> oh, and it should be... I made the outhouse 5x5, five five, so I had a reference. 5x5! Five five. Here you 5x5. Five five. Alright, let's see. Uh, we'll use one of these over here. Just throw a couple of these out here. Well, this one's like on its side. I like it. It's like all picked up and trashed. Okay. Now we're going to go trash the main house. Trash the main house! Let's oh, see, they got a big fancy bed. We can put, we can put theirs up in the corner like this. But I'm going to spin it around. Because who knows, maybe something lives behind it. And... Alright, that's cool. And right, I can get rid of their regular bed. And now I'm going to get some broken furniture. What are you up to, Tommy boy? Working? You give yourself Fridays off? <laughs> hey, a broken piano, that's perfect. Regular piano, broken piano. Oh, my mustache is not playing well today. <laughs> oh, every other Friday off. Is this the Friday off? So it's like these, these this week. Radio show for uh, KVSC. I'm, uh, today I'm repping the other side of, of Wisconsin, uh, oh, wrong sleeve. I'm repping two Michigan State Legends, Founders Brewing, and The Litching Hour on Twitch, where you can find me some days here and there. I hear, uh, a Paka Beep Roadshow tomorrow is gonna have some interesting plot twists and maybe even special guest all right broken piano broken bed uh couch i need a broken couch got a broken couch can i have broken couch for 100 bob no no broken couch broken furniture like in general oh broken cabinet though that's cool i'll replace that cabinet with this get rid of that good one Oh, no, not that one. Control Z is your friend. Control Z is your friend, my friend. Let me tell you. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to have it, like, barricaded. 
Oh, the whole house is moving. Earthquake! That's a 7.5 on that there Rick stick scale. That on that there pickle Richter scale. <laughs> Morty, Morty, I did it! I finally did it! My lifelong dream! I made myself into a pickle! <laughs> Can you believe it? I can't do Morty's voice, but uh, you have to kind of like whine and be like, but Rick, I know you did it just so that you don't have to go on this family trip with us. <laughs> I don't know how terrible that was. I have music in my ears, so it blocks it out, which is, oh, a broken fireplace. Hot diggity dog. Morty, Morty, a pickle. I'm a pickle. Isn't that fantastic? I gotta find that broken couch. Oh, and there's a secret trap door. Ooh. That was like a Scooby Doo sound there. Scooby Doo Doo. Where are you? What am I looking for? Broken couch. Got some work to do now. How can you have all this other broken stuff and no gosh darn broken? <laughs> Oh no. Are you gonna hero forge me into Morty? Just be sure to get my nose right. It's large and kind of bulbous on the end. <laughs> which variation of Scooby Doo is the best? Scoob! Which is gonna make CIO gamers say, F no! <laughs> uh, I would say the original. Absolutely. You can't. Everything after that, the voices are a little off and things like that. See, I knew you'd say you. <laughs> you don't appreciate the fine flavors of Scoob and how much lip service it gave to the fandom. <laughs> I'm a terrible, pretentious film snob. Tommy, have you watched The Watch? Oh my God, it's effing brilliant it's so great scrappy ruined the show scrappy is scooby's ewoks there i said it <laughs> now look what you made me do <laughs> look how you made me hurt you all <laughs> hey legio <laughs> so just scooby's jar jar <laughs> that's pretty harsh but then is like Snarf the Thundercats Jar Jar and his Orko He-Mans. What, what's the deal? Why do they got to ruin all these good shows with these stupid ass characters? We don't need any comedy levity. Let Snarf, Snarf, but Lionel. I haven't done that for like 20 years. Lionel, I got my tail caught in your ass. Oh, shit. That took a dark turn. <laughs> I love how they, there's this still fine couch because I can't find the damn broken. <laughs> that would be, it'd be great. Okay, uh, make a perception check. All right, you see what looks like a child-sized bear in the woods. No, it is not shitting in the woods. No, you can't shoot a javelin at it. <laughs> Thundercats has the greatest outtake ever, where Panthro is talking and he's like, he's like, I gotta get this sandal flange on the Titan and I can't do it. And then he starts busting out laughing. He's like, what the fuck is a sandal flange? <laughs> it's, it's my favorite outtake of all time. <laughs> no, they're not monkeys, they're bears. This teddy bear runs up and they start tripping your all-terrain vehicles. Right, and then they have like these massive trees uh, strung up on vines. I don't even know that there's enough Ewoks to do that. And then, kush, they, they smash that that ATST. <laughs> that was awesome. But highly unrealistic. Maybe they're force wielders. Maybe their midichlorian levels are through the roof. <laughs> Uh, I, I'm gonna start a Star Wars game. I have a private group that wants Star Wars. And I was like, ooh, do you want force wielding or Rebels versus Empire or Scum and Villainy? And they're like, well, I should this and that. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna do my own thing then. 
gonna be some in between time. I'm gonna start a whole new canon. Then we get hired by Lucasfilm, and they're gonna give me a movie, and I'm totally gonna make it better than the Last Jedi. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, I deleted the perfect couch. Oh, so you mean like Rebels? Or, um, what's his name from the other movies? <laughs> what the hell is his name? The former trooper. Finn! who got, totally got shafted in character development phases of those movies. That's all I gotta say about that. We're not talking about it anymore. Mm -hmm. Can't believe there's no, like, broken couch. Look, there's nice couches. Why don't you have a gosh darn broken couch? Oh, yeah, and Rose, too. That's right. I thought she was just... Was she a stormtrooper? I thought she was just Empire. Meh. See how much I pay to pay attention to tangential characters sometimes. Like you're gonna die, you're gonna die, you're never gonna go anywhere in character development. It's fine, get out of here. Oh, what? How did that not show up? Oh, dilapidated furniture. Hey everybody, when you're looking for a broken couch next time in Roll in uh, Incarnate, look under dilapidated furniture. Yeah, oh, oh yeah, her character development was bad. Yeah. She was like the, we're not going to make Poe and Finn uh, gay lovers, so we need to throw somebody else in there to screw things up role in the movie. Yeah, they never really answered a bunch of questions about Ray either. Still, and I'm, I'm only going to say this once, I'm not going to respond to any questions. I enjoyed all of the Star Wars movies some more than others, simply because for 30 years, I thought there was never going to be another Star Wars movie. And so I take them at face value. I love that they have this whole new continuity and canon. And, um, uh, and we got the fucking Mandalorian. It's early to swear, but I'm going to swear. We got the fucking Mandalorian out of it. Deal. Fine. All the movies are, are great. I don't care. I didn't like the, the prequels all that much. There's some good stuff in them. Um, Yoda kicking the crap out of Dooku. That was awesome. Um, but the digital wrapping technology they used back then uh, made Dooku's head look like a barrel. <laughs> Christopher Lee's head looked like a barrel. So it could have been better. It could have been worse, I guess. I mean, at least it's not like those Dungeons and Dragons movies they did. <laughs> Which they're going to make a new Dungeons and Dragons movie. God, I hope they don't fuck that one up. Uh, the High Republic just started as like a series of books I have. They gave me a, Amazon gave me like a big credit. So I bought the book, one of them. There was a Dungeon Siege movie. Not everything can be Reign of Fire with dragons and Matthew McConaughey and such. <laughs> I love that movie. Of course I did. I watched the whole Mandalorian. We all knew it was coming, dude. <laughs> all right, so I trashed the main house here. I'm going to throw some, some other garbage in here to make it really gross. I've been on this really over... I don't want that. What's that? What's going on here? No, I don't want that. Um... I've been on this like over descriptive gross out thing. It could be because I have three groups in sewers right now uh, in a, in a villa, in a city. They're all looking for this ancient city that may or may not be underneath. Um, I feel like that stuff is so small, no one's really gonna see it. Like you're gonna you're gonna be at like this level. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, good. Enough. Oh, right. I remember now. I remember now. Yeah. No. 
that that was clearly not made by fantasy role players because there were so many loopholes, so many plot holes that were so large that you could drive a Death Star through it. <laughs> Go ahead there. Oh, good. We already got corpses here. <laughs> it's not a pig. It's not a pig sty if you don't have corpses. Well, I mean, if you're watching the Dragon Prince, the wood el the not the moon elves, the assassin elves are like ninja like. I mean, that's a pretty good show too. Lots of great character development in there. Well, you gotta move it somehow. It's gotta have propulsion. What do you think? They're just they just push it with a couple star destroyers and then they sling it around the sun for like a gravity assist and then they aim it at where whatever planet they want to go destroy? No way, that thing has to have massive propulsion. I don't think they're moving the Death Star with the force. I mean, for, for Christ's sake, somebody thought it was a moon once. That's, but that's no moon. It's a, it's a space spaceship. How many stupid quotes can I fit in today? <laughs> yeah, but they can't hit it directly. They have to hit the white Death Star into the gray Death Star, and then that moves the gray Death Star towards the pocket of the galaxy. Towards the pocket dimension. A pocket universe. <laughs> they totally thought it was a moon for like five seconds. That's no moon. It's a space station. All right, dead pigs, because it's a pig sty. Where's the dead pig? Right there. Oh, there's only one? All right, fine. Dead, dead people, dead pig. I'm going to maybe make one a little moldier than the other one or something. Let's see how green I can get this dead pig. Well, it looked like a hole in the asteroid. I mean, that's why they shouldn't let Han fly. He's got other more valuable skills. Now that looks like a radioactive pig, and that fits in with my Starcrawl game. <laughs> All right, uh, we're going to off these horses. Are there dead horses? God, I hope so. I mean, what a terrible thing to say. Hose, horse, <laughs> different kinds of hose. <laughs> Best typo ever. <laughs> All right. Ah, uh, there's only living horses. I'll just have to do my best to make them look dead. All right, let's see here. This one, I'm turn this way people to the yes i want like the life and times i want the book of jar jar uh, i want it just to be him doing like spoken word poetry <laughs> in a cafe with a bunch of uh with a bunch of like rodian beatniks <laughs> be so annoying <laughs> uh, it's awesome why is there a green horse you say because it's dead <laughs> this one we put it like there and hey father jay welcome to the party we're talking about how badly we want a, a how badly we want a jar jar spoken word poetry show it's just him doing that. Mm. I cannot get this one to look right. Fine, you're gone. Just one dead green horse will be enough, I think. Get the point across. Oh, I know. I'll, uh, I'll put it over here. In the hay. And then... Uh, oh. Boop. There, that looks that looks like it's half dead. <laughs> yes, I think they should have a, a show called Blue Milk, and it's just about where they get the milk from. That's it. Uh... I will. 
answer that for you. That's a very involved question. Streaming on Twitch right now, but I'll answer. Blue milk. Oh, they, it could be like a, like an ice truckers thing, like a reality show. <laughs> Disney should be watching. Lucasfilm should be watching this stream so they get they can get all their great ideas. Thanks so much for those bits. Was that for the the blue milk being an ice truckers reality show? <laughs> oh, we we gotta script this chapel. The chapel is too purdy. I wonder if I can break that. Uh, if there's a reflection to break that that um, window window dilapidated furniture. No, that's not what I want. Oh, also not what I want. All right, let's see here. So the broken stuff. Broken, 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 broken. Broken, broken, broken. Oh, apparently I didn't sleep enough. Shocky. That could that could pass for a broken for a broken pew. Hey, eh? hey. Eh? It's a broken chest. Okay. All right, let's see here. Um, I think this will work. Like a, like it's a tipped over kind of broken pew. Uh, Who's that? Well, thanks so much for Men Play Games Live. Yes, we do sometimes. Welcome to the channel, and thanks for stopping by, and thanks for following. All right, I can get rid of this this nice pew. Oh, oh now there's all kinds of broken stuff. Oh, yeah, that's what happens when I'm on the wrong tool sometimes. I'm gonna smash up that that altar and that pulpit and that kneeling thing, whatever they call them. No idea. It's because there's a picture of on the internet of me as Pope Innocent the Tenth does not mean I am a holy man. <laughs> Far completely the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah we'll totally play some starbound um tomorrow i have an intro to kids D, D class um and then uh something later but yeah what are we laughing about oh me as the pope we're laughing at about me as the pope well, i don't know what this is this, but it's it looks Like a smashed altar. Oh, totally like a torn up rug. Like this way. Hey, I'm I'm just as holy as some of those popes if you read history books, man. <laughs> I too can sell my affection the affections of my god for money. <laughs> put some tattered uh thing in here. Oh now I know there's smashed statues, I just gotta find them. Broken statues. See, there's the good statues. I think the bad statues. Broken statues. Yeah, that's, I mean, I'm holy in my own religion. In my own religion, I'm the holiest. Oh. Alright, I need broken. Broke. Broken metal wall parts. I need broken. Ah, broken statues. Perfect. See, I knew there was broken statues here. There's just that one. That is huge. I'm gonna have it be right there, smashed away from the wall. I wish I could put a hole in that. Hmm. I'll have to think about that. Think about how to do that. What is that? I don't know if 
that is. I know what the symbol is, I don't know what you mean by it. Ooh, what if I wash the color of this? Like it's just regular sunlight streaming through. Hmm, is that take the saturation? That looks a little more broken. You need a, a what? A, all right, let me save this, save. And then you want a basic town map that you can borrow. I don't think you can give it back to me technically because it's digital. Ha, ah, just a six, ha <laughs> ha, Mark Rocks. All right, let's see here. Uh, yeah, I've got a bunch of towns. Um, well, you could, but you'd still have a copy of it. Here, cities. Like, this is Lost Port. This is a, a dangerous sort of pirate town. Like this one. I got that one. Uh, I've got a couple others. There's this one, which I'm using right now on stream. Oh, I've got the Village of Death as well. There's this one. And at this one, I could take the fire off. Do you want it to be on the coast or inland or what? I have to make it, I'd probably make a town anyway. I have this one, which is just like part of the village. The pirate one? All right, I'll send you that. That's Lost Port. On the coast? Yeah, I'll send you Lost Port. I'll do it right now. Uh, Hmm, where, where is it? I think it's in the radicals. Okay, it's on its way, hold on. Nope, it's not in there, where is it? Oh, 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 I know where it is. It's in Let's Be Bad Guys, Pirate Edition. Uh, there, I sent that map to you in uh, Discord, chill out. Hey, hey, the Litching Hour. Uh, look, I'm repping two Michigan le legends today. Founders and you, buddy. <laughs> Team, it's a Michigan, it's a Michigander kind of day. <laughs> Woo! If I knew it was that easy, I'd wear your shirt every day. <laughs> Yes, Mitch again. I'm promoting four more years of of Mitch, not McConnell. Okay, uh, back to my Circle Calvin Ranch. So I'm taking the Calvinian Ranch that I made for Boot Hill uh, that we just played, uh, the second edition Boot Hill from 1979 um, in like a two session game. And I'm flipping it over to be an egress from the Chlorophane Mine in my Star Crawl game. <laughs> we can't even give you bits yet. Hey, everybody, go follow the Chill Out Corner so we can get him to affiliate. He's only got like 20 followers right now. Please, thank you. You're all awesome. Here's a big heart for you. <laughs> I tried. I gotta mold up this, uh, this, uh, hay. I'm pretty sure I can just do it with, like, giving it kind of a, a greenish. Ooh, that's way too green. Gotta drop out some of the saturation. Brighten it up a little. Hmm. 30-31 now? Oh, well, you're getting there. You're getting there, buddy. You're getting there. It took a while for me. Well, that's not true. It took like uh, 18 days. 12 or 18 days, I think. 
There, see, he's only got 28 followers. How many people we got in chat right now? I know Bart just went, uh, uh, Bart just went, uh, lurking. But we got like one, two, well, he's probably already following. You're probably already following him. You're probably already following him. Okay, so there's just like two. Go follow the chill out corner, please. Yeah, I figured, I figured you and Father J and probably Faco and uh, Legio are all following him already. So that just, just leaves a couple others in the chat. Okay, so destroyed dead pigs, corpses. See how I flipped the houses to look like they're, what's going on? Uh, and then these are gonna be the bad guys coming around the corner when they come. I destroyed the church. Oh, the, I, gotta, I gotta destroy this other sacrilege. What kind of sacrilege am I committing today? A picture of myself as the Pope and I'm destroying a chapel? Oh yeah, I gotta put some rubble in there. Like, uh, that's not really the right kind of rock. Let's try that again. This one here. I'm gonna go with both. Yeah. You have to give in order to receive, my friend. <laughs> Needs a little reddish hue, I think. Can I get it? It's pretty close. Ah, oh, there it is. Yeah, you just have to beat one massive enemy. One massive pain in the ass. <laughs> and you, you're the big winners. You're the big wieners! <laughs> Calvin does not have a lot of faith in you. The Lich cheats by using his own dice. <laughs> yeah, kidding. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna put that underneath it. Right now it just looks like there's rocks falling off of it. And then I just gotta change the color. Well, be careful of the Lich's purple dice. Those things are deadly. My god. They really are hardcore. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. Yes, Alexa, I know. Oh, no, that's the whole interior of the house, too. Mm. All right, I'm just going to leave it. Maybe a broken door? Ship doors, prison doors. Mm-hmm. Wooden doors, but no broken wooden doors. <laughs> New stamp set. Nice. Endless doors. Ooh. 30 sounds in that thing. I didn't think about it. Vault door, door, cargo door, red train doors, and windows. That's it. Alright. No broken, no broken down door. It was great. I gotta go by. Here, we'll throw some of these busted things down here. Oh, that looks like a broken tequila bottle. It is the Wild West, so that's possible. Some broken sconces. Sconce. Sconce, like from Wisconsin. Just throw some of this around. Oops. Oh, there's a plate outside. Whatever. <laughs> I'll gladly pay it back next time.
Uh, yeah, we'll give him a broken table. Broken table. Think about that with this. Uh, broken weapons, prison bars. See, now the thing that's going to happen. Oh, wait. Any of my players, any of my Starcrawl players out there? Don't be. Uh, it doesn't look like it. Any of my, uh, or, uh, what's going to happen is they're going to come out, Starcrawl players going to come out of here and then, uh, make their way this way. And, um, oh, and then, uh, run into the enemies up here. I wonder if I have horse icons in World 20. Not what I want. Horse. I'm pretty sure I do. 99% sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll. So I can take those horses off of there. In my library. Oh. Okay. Well, that'll work. All right. So Circle K Calvin Ranch, Circle K Ranch. Oh, I'm gonna put some holes in the fence. That's where these guys came from. Go here, broken wooden walls. Yes. What kind of news do you have about pirates, Calvin? What? You bought a ship? Like, how big of a ship? What are we talking about? In real life? I'm confused. What's going on? Uh, drain the saturation, make it give it that, that kind of grayness that wood gets when it's left out in the elements too long. Jesus, a ship. And sail it over here and visit us. You can sail right up to Hudson and get all the way to Wisconsin. Have to go through some canals and some lakes and stuff. It's gonna be like pirate radio, broadcast stuff off from off the coast. All right, this is broken fence. Is it like a? barge or is it like uh i'm still confused about this Just show me a picture let me see a picture of that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. you got any you got any nudes of that ship you bought there got any nudes of the figurehead <laughs> i mean noodles i'm talking about noodles of course what are you guys talking about pervs <laughs> oh yeah here no, that's not right. That looks too big. That's fine. I see. I understand. I just I still do not sure. Like, like, does it move? Does it have a motor or or sails or what's the deal? Oh my, show me pictures. Like that one, that specific one. Oh my God, I'm glad I got a beard and start growing. We can start going raiding. That's crazy. Dungeons and Dragons games and we'll stream it off your ship. <laughs> we'll stream it off your ship. 
uh, to uh, the world. What are you going to name it? I suggest the Stercorarius <laughs> because no one will be able to say the, the name. <laughs> Stercorarius, Macronectus, Star Jaeger. <laughs> I got loads of them. Okay. I'm going to say I'm done with this because now I'm just screwing around with it. Oh, uh, I'm going to have, I'm going to, I'm not done with it because it was all like, you can see kind of the darkened trails and stuff where they were walking and whatnot. I'm gonna put some grass down uh, where where it's just kind of grown up over the well. It's been abandoned. Green ground. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, wrong way. Yeah, like uh, there. All along the fence now, probably. Back of the house there. Definitely over here. Oops, right into the... Actually, I'm going to change the color of that. Uh, it's not stuck in the... Inside the building picture. Make it like a gray, like a gray ground. Well, gotta hire a pirate crew. Our matey gonna be hiring a pirate crew in there. Oh, that's not what I want. Dark gray ground, yeah. Uh, we're gonna dark gray ground the inside of these stables here. Let's see about like that big, flip it this way. Shrink it down that way. Like that. And then apply. Boom. Done. Uh, yeah, that's all right. I think that's okay. There you go. Now you got, you got Legio singing. It's just green ground. What about this one? Oh, here. Yeah, this would be cool. Just put like little patches of grass like growing. Oh, I don't like that. Uh, I need to. I want to make it a three. I want to give it like a fade. Say five there. Still not super happy with that, but whatever. I just missed that first one. All right, I think I'm done with this now. Now it looks less lived in, I guess. Oh, I was going to change the that uh, wasteland, gray wasteland, which would be like way down at the bottom, I think. Grass textures. What this one? I, uh... Oops, that's not what I wanted. Oops. Hmm. Not sure if I like that. Change this to 0.5 and this to 0.5. I'll just brush over this real lightly. Point, point 
This is a. That's not a stamp. It's um. It's a. It's a brush in the background. I think it's in the background. So what if I just uh. Make it a little dirty. Dust and stuff's blown in there. Same here. Put some like dusty tracks or something. Like dust is just accumulating, right? It's abandoned. Stuff shouldn't be so vibrantly colored. But this is another one of those maps I'm going to put all this effort into and the, the players are just going to like walk right by it. Like, yeah, whatever. All right. Oh, Jesus. I was pulling my head, my earbuds right out of my head. All right, we're going to do a before and after here. As soon as I uh, get this. Okay. Uh, I got to save this because there's 176 changes not saved. Go in here. Flip over to this empty one. Um, well, this might be the easiest way to do it. My games. Here's Boot Hill. Okay. Reboot Hill, as I called it. This is going to be like before and after the apocalypse. Before the apocalypse. Oh. Where did OBS go? Yep, before the apocalypse and after the apocalypse. Before the apocalypse, after the apocalypse. Uh, yeah, we. <laughs> Booty Hill, is that the pirate version? The Wild West pirate version where you're sand pirates and you're, you're on these big ships with giant wheels on them? Because that sounds like super fun now that I just made that up. <laughs> Booty Hill. <laughs> you go around uh, like blunderbusses and flintlocks trying to shoot somebody from 30 paces away and you never hit them. <laughs> and then like nobody can see anything because there's so much smoke. <laughs> All right. Boot Hill. The Boot Hill version of the Calvinian Ranch. The Starcrawl crazy generation ship version of the circle Calvin with a K ranch. Circle K ranch. Circle K. Boot Hill was fun. I thought it was going to be real crunchy and hard to run. Super easy once I got a couple things automated in Roll20. And um, and I think all the players had a good time. Allowed for some role playing and stuff like that. So that was good. All right. So I'm going to export this. Export as image. You want it to be like really clear. Nah, I can't remember what style I made the the original maps. Let's see if I can back up to it. Let's see if we'll just go there. Hmm. Take a break, I gotta get some tea. What time is it? Oh, it's 5.15 already? All right, so I gotta look at this map and see like, what's the style? Oh, the other thing I did this week was I taught myself how, how dynamic lighting works, which uh, turned out to be really cool. I can show you. So you click on uh, one of the tokens and then you hit control L and this is what the player sees right now. So then when I move them around, when you let go, it updates their view. And it was 
it took me a little while to read and figure out how to do it, but once I did, I was like, oh my god, that was so simple. Why didn't I, why didn't I know how that worked before? So then it just updates because things are blocking the light. Oops. The thing about it is, is there's no, there's no, uh, like hard barriers, unlike, um, Fantasy Grounds and D20 Pro and stuff like that. But that's all right. I mean, for the most part, my players are going to generally follow along with what's going on. Generally. Okay, so I think this was washed out. Uh, faded. I think it was faded. I don't know that I want it to be that faded. Maybe like that. Let's see what it looks like. Star crawl. All right, pop this open, and then I think I'll have to do a little bit of pirate prep. Pirate prep, because I'm uh, in the middle of writing a new. Oh, I'll show everybody what this looks like. I think I can just um, let's see, window capture. We'll say photos. Yep, that's the one I want right there. So you can see it's a little more faded than it was in the in the web browser version from a color from a color perspective. Yeah, all right. I dig it. I like it. I'm gonna throw that up into rule 20. Oh yeah, today's music is supplied by Bass Rebels. You can find them at BassRebels.co.uk or on YouTube where they offer unlimited, practically unlimited copyright free music for streams. I'm not obligated to say any of that. However, when I use somebody's stuff, being a creative myself, I like to give credit where credit is due. Much like uh, when we use this map here, which we'll probably get back to. Um, this map came from Two Minute Tabletop. Uh, they make all kinds of great stuff, two, minute, two minute tabletop.com. That map, and uh, I think this map came from them, which is silly because now I could just make that myself in, in Incarnate. Uh, this map I just made myself. It's just like a, like a gauntlet they had to run. Oh, this is... This is two minute tabletop, I think. Pretty sure, looking at the line style. Okay, I need to get the map. Nope, that's Discord. I need to get the map into roll 20. Mm hmm. All right, it's gonna drag that over there. It's gonna say, I am uploading, please wait. And then Everyone have crazy internet problems this, this week. Apparently Verizon like cut through a massive fiber uh, pipeline. Screwed up the Northeast and streaming and a whole bunch of other stuff. All right, there it is. There's the map right there. And then just, I almost, when I export stuff from Incarnate and I put it into Roll20, I find that this, this size, this canvas size, I have 25 by 35 is just about perfect so now if I put the map, or if I put the grid over, um, you'll see. If you go down here to the, to the portal lay, to the outhouse, it's about five by five. And then like you look at the horses and the horses are about five by five. And I can pick up them. I can still move the map around. So if I wanted to like see specifically, yeah, it's like a perfect, a perfect scale right there. Mm -hmm. Looks good. Oh, I should have taken those horses off. All right, what I'm gonna do? <laughs> this is gonna be a, this is gonna be a cool little trick. Welcome back, chill out. Welcome back. Uh, horse. 
A horse is a horse, of course, of course, unless, of course, it's a digital horse, in which fact then it's not a horse at all. It's actually just ones and zeros that turn off or on certain colors of uh, light emitting diodes. All right, now that horse is a little bigger. My gosh, that was clever. I put food, I had some cheese. Horse diodes, uh, horse diodes. Reggio, we've been smoking again today. <laughs> I don't care, I was just curious. Share. Hey, how'd that fishing game go that y'all were playing? <laughs> when am I not? <laughs> I don't know when you're sleeping, maybe. All right, let's see. I got to put some bad guys on. Oh, here's a bad guy right here. Oh, that's the sheriff. Social commentary hidden as jokes in my uh, DM prep sessions. Yeah, 14's pretty good. I mean, Bart got like a six earlier and he's still hiding. <laughs> oh, yes. I love this dude. This is going to be, uh, he's going to be the, that's going to be Malcolm. Kind of looks like if the Lich or, this is what happens when the Lich doesn't get saved by his, uh, when Preacher doesn't get saved by his god in, in Boot Hill. He turns into this. Well, ye effing ha. Sure looks like he's riding that horse now, doesn't it? Well, I mean, he's pretty good. He's he's just riding with his knees, not even uh, not even holding on. Now the other guy, I have to find an icon for the other guy because he's very specifically not Wild West. And let's see here. So Malcolm is the one that I just put on the map there sitting on the horse. And I just got to find his partner in crime. Oh, that looks like it. Perfect. Uh, give me some desktop space so I can drag this thing over here. Oops, not that. That's close enough. I can't remember what how I exactly described him to um, to the characters, but this guy fits. Whoa, this guy fits the fits the bill here, and he's a little large. Living large. His name is Max. He's not really keen on riding horses, but he is. All right. I don't think uh, that Malcolm's gonna work. He's not. When I originally described him, something would have had to happen to him since then. See, he, he could be on a horse. Let's try this gambler. Let's see what he looks like. Whoa. Right, we're gonna shrink him down. We're gonna. Yep, good enough. Oh man. Token. Token layer. I do this all the time. I'm always, I'm always on the wrong layer. It's like the bane of my existence in World 20. It's, it's my own fault. Okay, now I can group them until, they're, until they get off their horses. All right, that map is set for some star crawl action. Oh, I got to stat those guys up. I'll stat them up later. 
I like to stat stuff up on offline just in case the, the users show up or something. All right, so uh, I can now I got to go look at so mischief golden piracy. If anyone knows where that quote came from, you get ten points. I'll give you a thousand gold if you know where it came from. You could probably just Google it, but um, they are mischief golden piracy. Where's their game? Nope. Uh, where does Mischief Golden Piracy come from? Where did I get it from? It's the name of my every other Wednesday pirate show. Right here, Mischief Golden Piracy. You should especially know. That's a generic answer that does not, not comply with the contest requirements. We're gonna be pirates for a little bit here, matey. It doesn't even mess up my hair. <laughs> I'm a very vain pirate, as you can tell. Arr, it is a media source. It's a very specific piece of media from a very specific source of media. All right, there. Uh, oh, I did some work for this already. Holy crap. I am ahead of the game. But. This is cool. This gives me the opportunity to... So, um, more recently, Incarnate... Um, more recently, Incarnate put ship maps on... Um, uh, on their token sets. Why are you yelling? There's a branch of sea shanties and... Not quite. When I make my battle maps, they're almost always landscape. Um, some very rarely portrait. So today I'm gonna make a square one. 40 by 40 squares. All right. So this is what it looks like when you start. Here's the the day's incarnate. Um, uh, this is what it looks like when you start. And normally what you would do is you would add some land, like so. See, it gives borders and everything. Because then you can go in uh, and on the background, you can just fill in like with water and stuff. So I'll show you like what that looks like. Oh, here. I, I don't think I've used this one yet. So then you can just... And it won't color that land. So now you have a, a foreground and a background. That's like the worst island I've ever made in my life. Yeah, but all of those playlists get that saying from something else. Oh, it did kind of look like a pumpkin there for a second. <laughs> there, look, we made a quick pirate island here. I don't really need it. I just thought it would be funny. It's very, it's very dancing like almost. I don't know. All right. The thing is, I don't want any of this. I was just screwing around to show you how it works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into the... Uh, the shovel, the mask tool, and I got, I'm going to subtract literally everything. All the land, go away. Don't want none of it. Not for what I'm doing right now. I'll go back into the brush options for the texture, or the texture options for the brush, and 
flip out a couple of these things because I'm looking for a very specific type of there's some really great water textures Ooh, I like this one this dark one makes me think of uh, the Caribbean uh, when I was in the Navy I was in the Navy no softness zero 100% I just I don't want to have to go over it over and over again oh I missed a piece of land there I like that it's got like a little bit of wave texture to it now I'm gonna, I'm gonna redo that no this one I'm just gonna do that and that and then it's gonna look like waves when I get back to this uh, close like wave cresting so you're in between peaks and troughs man peaks and troughs there you go, you got it. You got it, Calvin. Man of my word. Oh, there's a little speck of of island right there. That's not very realistic now, is it? Oop, now it's gone. As a matter of fact, I can just go over this whole thing just to make sure. The easier way, I suppose, would just be, you know, do this. Okay, so uh, they have these new ships that I haven't had a chance to play around with yet. Small sailing ship, sailing ship, multiple levels. Oh, that's awesome. We're gonna see what this looks like. <laughs> Why wouldn't it be that straightforward? There is a paw on my face. Well, that's weird. What's going on there? Oh, now I got a parrot. Oh, this is even better. Coward babies. I don't know what's going on. What do you think, Petey? What do you think, Petey? Petey. Hey, Petey. This parrot's dead! <laughs> this parrot's dead! It's not so gray anymore. I mean, the sides are. <laughs> it's not dead. He's rusting. This parrot is dead. You've nailed him to the perch. This is cool. I like this. This is way easier than making one from scratch like I did once. Oh, boy. He's pushing up daisies. Hey Cody, you see the ship? It's just one one stamp. This is new newer in Incarnate. Man, you can zoom in really well. And it's got um it's got below decks. Below decks. Oh, I'm on the wrong thing. Below decks. Just like this, like this, like this, like this. That's super cool. Yeah, it's really nice because I'm lazy. So theoretically now, I guess what you would have to do is take this one. I What I would do is I would lay, if I wasn't doing a ship to ship battle, I would lay them out right next to each other. And then uh, in roll 20 i would just have it all in fog of war and I, when i needed to i would just move the characters from one to the other to the other so i'm gonna do that it's weird that they didn't put floors in them is that just is it just a me thing this must be what do you think this is the here this is like the lower deck right and this is the upper deck yeah like that so I guess what you would have to do then is go in and fill it in with a wood texture 
like a polygon, I guess. Let's see how well this is going to work, huh? Oh, what if I gave it like a bunch more sides? Ooh, not really. They need a, they need to just be able to draw. Because hmm. you're going to have to put Then I'm going to shrink it down, I'm going to rotate it, I think that's going to be good, I'm going to apply it. And then I think you can just, oh it's huge, you'd have to just fill in, uh, zero softness again. Have to just carefully fill in, I guess, huh? It seems to be the the best way to do it. To, well, I went too far. I've gone too far. You've gone too far this time, Mr. Rick. Me, not you. <laughs> it's me being too lazy to move. The mouse. <laughs> zoom all the way out, zoom back in. <laughs> Mr. Rick, what have you done? Nothing. I didn't do it, I swear. Think, are you streaming later today? You got something going on? I should really pay closer attention to your schedule. You're such a great pal. I should be there. I always try to pop in when I see you go live. I just don't know, like, what's your, what's your major day? Is it Friday or Saturday? Oh, it's um, Saturday. I remember. I remember now. It's Saturday. See, why didn't they just fill in these with that same wood pattern? Because now it looks different. I don't really care. It's fine. It looks different. So what? I just thought of like how else I could do it, but that seems like a lot of work. Which would be like mask it so that it so that it makes land and then put that over and then trim the corners off. It's the same thing, just a different it's the same thing, just a different way of doing it, right? So it's exactly the same. So if I do this, spin it, get inside the frame, make it up there, and then try to get it as close as I can to cover everything, and then just apply. Right, and then go back into the brush, go here and just go I guess that's not too much work. Oops. Gosh dang it. Gosh darn it, Ma. Well, look what you went and did now. Right. Done. That's what I would do, I guess. 
and then just skip them from from thing to thing when they when it uh like when they go down to one of the other levels have them I don't really understand actually I think these are backwards I think this one is the lower level because these would come from right here you can see the door there's a door right there so this is the top deck this is the middle this is the lower deck and then but the thing is like the cargo hold would be the lowest deck so then for this one what you would have to do is go to this and make a square about yay big And move it over to right there. And then have it be darkness. Hello, darkness, my old friend. And then just be like a hole going into the lower cargo hold. Hmm. But I mean, that's super easy. Can have all kinds of crazy ship battles now. This will this will actually work because that's what I was going to do. With, here, I'll show you how I how I achieved something similar in roll twenty. Um, there's uh, you can kind of see right here. So I'm on the objects and tokens layer for the main ship, and then on the GM layer right now, there's uh, several other decks in pieces. And so what I was going to do is just put them underneath and then I can just hide the layer uh, or add the layer um, to the token. So like say I wanted that layer, I would just go token layer. The thing is that uh, it gets a little confusing, it's a little messy. So what I did instead was I just dragged them uh, away. Oops, did that backwards. I actually want that one to be over there. But I suppose if I... Okay, so now like that's on the GM layer. Can I pick this and say go to back and this and go to back? No, because uh, cause I'll always see them the front. Yeah, see it won't cover it won't cover them. So then what I gotta do is say this one goes here and then when they go down below decks I just take that drag pop that to the GM layer and I can move it away. which is how I was going to do it anyway. Oops. Go to objects. Let's go left. We should be on the GM layer. Stop it. Just grab the damn things. <laughs> Stop being a pest. So I already made this this map in uh, in Incarnate. And then you should be on the token layer. Alright, so they're just gonna see that and then when they go below decks, I'll just what I'll do is I'll just drag over the deck, flip it to the token or to the map layer. Oh yeah, it should be a map layer. Uh, objects and tokens Flip to the map layer because then you get the grid on it and then I can just drag over the other ones this is the player ship right here oops this one right here all right so that means I'm mostly done I totally forgot I did that oh yeah see here's that whole thing again 
So like if I grab that one, that's the sail one, bring that to the front. I guess that's another way to do it. Because now if they're all on the same layer, you just pick them up and move them. Yeah, I might use that one. Yes, because right now they're in low port. Here's low port. They're in low port. They haven't left yet. So I don't really need to make another map. I just have to figure out where they're going to... I do need to make another map. I totally forgot about that. But I don't need to put it into there anytime soon. All right, I'm just going to save this as a... Um, save. I'm going to call it a uh, shoot. <laughs> Do I have anything else going on today? I don't think so. What day is it? It's Friday? Oh yeah, just this. This is my whole day right here. Alright, so I do have another map that I'm going to make. So I'm going to, uh, and it's going to be a C map. So I'm going to, uh, yeah, I'm going to say this is a clone. This is going to be interesting. I don't know if I have all the textures to do it, but I think I do. I have to change the water texture, which I can do afterwards. All right. Boosh, go away. Oh, you go away too. Oh, 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 because I, I did that. So I have to fix it anyway. Okay, so now uh, there's going to be land in this map, so I got to go into uh, the mask tool and this, and I'm going to add, so I'm going to use this one, this big one, because I want to have like a big thing. It's going to be like this sort of thing here. Give it a little definition here and it's okay that the edge looks kind of the same all the way around because um what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go into this texture and on the background this texture oops uh i'm not in the corner of the background oh it's too small i'm just gonna Nope, I need a softness of 0.7. That's not even. I need a 0.5 there. All right, let's see here. Yeah, there we go. Like the water's getting churned up or there's something underneath the water. Just on the edge here. There we go. And then, nope, that's good. I'm, I like that. Uh, what I need to do now is texture that island. Oh, I like that. Might be that one. I'm going to click that and keep looking. This is for an adventure I haven't written yet, but I know we're going to get to sooner or later. So I figured since I'm here, I might as well do it. I think that looks like it's going to be the best, best texture. Well, let me check. 
and all the textures just to be sure. It's not quite the texture I'm looking for, this one, but it's close. You're back. You're back. Thank God we were dying without you. We're just gonna try this as a an experiment. Oh. Ooh. But it's backwards. I want to go the other way. Actually, do I? I just want to do this. Yeah, I have to, I have to finish so I can go. I made some seitan. I'm doing an experiment with some seitan, and I'm hoping that it's going to turn out better. Uh, usually, it's really dense, and so I thought of a way that might work to. Is this what I want? Uh, I thought of a way that I might make it less dense and then more enjoyable. Hmm, is that what I want? It kind of is. I'm going to figure out what I'm making yet. I guess I move my head when I'm coloring maps sometimes. Yeah, that's not... I'm okay with that, but it's... Man, that's... Alright, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna go check the other one and see... I think this one will be cooler. Yeah, this one will be cooler. I should have just gone with this one the first time. Sorry, Thug, is it this weird edge now? Uh, yeah. Um, all right, I need, uh, I know exactly what I need. This is like the culmination of a three or four adventure uh, sequence, so I won't need it for probably a couple months, but since I'm already here and making maps, I figured it would be pretty cool to have it ready anyway. Huh, I kind of like that, but no, it's the wrong kind of, wrong kind of thing. dig that but it's the wrong color so let's see if I can change its color hmm. oh man I wish I could just have it do that that would be super cool I could animate it like that but I think this is gonna work <clears throat> All right. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to go into here. I want it to rando stamp. Yep. Uh, shrink it down a little bit. Okay, and then let me just move that out of the way so I can quick grab all of that and flatten to the foreground. Yes. You're gonna be like, what did you just do? And I'll show you. Now I can just, oops. Now I can just be like uh, smaller and just be like you know, smaller. Like, 
and now they're buried. This is a trick I learned this week in uh, in uh, Incarnate. So now it looks like they're they're buried. So I just flattened it to the background, and then you you basically just you just uh, brush over them, and part of them disappear. And it looks like like they're uh, sticking out of the sticking out of the ground there. Yeah, see that? Give it a little little weird edge. Because I've got this. Uh, and that was that one's really good right there. That's really good. Because I've got this um, this. this down a little more there we go. all right cool so there's all kinds of dead creatures on it there's a massive tower right in the middle still not keen on this color though Ooh. yeah I like that It's not really the tower I envisioned for it. I'm gonna look through all these again. Hmm. <laughs> Evil tower. I like that a little more. Can I? mold it over a little bit give it like a it will not give me a, like a color hue huh? oh because i'm on the wrong one there we go see the green popped out a little bit there right there Yeah, that's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Not super keen on it yet, but we'll see how it goes. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Score. Hey, look, they're just the right size. Just the right size. Watch this. <laughs> what happened? Wait, 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 wait. Why did you all flip sideways? Yeah, there's that guy. And then they all flipped. Spooky, spooky skeletons. Skelebra. One of my players were here they would know exactly what i'm making and then they would cower in fear if i turn off the random can i do it can i just oh, hurt, 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 hurt. Oh. oh i know what's happening i'm placing it and then No, the tower is deleted. It's back. That was not cool. You suck. The problem with doing this, now that I think about it, is that I want, I'll later want them to be tokens so I'm just gonna not do this nope. 
I'm gonna leave just that one dude right there though. <laughs> Alright, cool. Because what I can do is just um, put tokens down later. My phone's beeping, beep, 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 beep. Oh, Packers fired somebody. It's big news in Wisconsin, everybody. What time is it? Is it six o'clock? Oh, it is. It's six o two. All right, this is good. I got a good start on this that I didn't really expect to get, um, because they have to go through one of the other adventures before they get to this one. It's not Alcatraz. Alcatraz is a, the island is more, is longer and thinner, um, and the complex would be much bigger. It's like the scene ending scenario, basically. You want to go to Alcatraz? It's just an old building on a rock. <laughs> and so, man, about tourist stuff. This is cool. I like these new, there's some new stamps. Oh, that, see, I do like those. Hey, I'm going to leave a giant or two lying about here. Giant skelly, bro. Bro. Like there is a massive war. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to that one, that one, that one, that one. Paranormal blah. <laughs> I'm also not big on paranormal because. Sorry, I'm busy doing something here. There, he's buried. I just don't believe in it. I don't believe in it. Even though I've like, I'm pretty sure I've seen a ghost. I just still disbelieve. <laughs> I'm a jerk. <laughs> like, nope, ghost. Sorry, I don't believe in you. I mean, they already made a sci-fi show about Alcatraz, so I just watched that. It's fine. Oh. I just had a brilliant idea. Yes. <laughs> this is fantastic. These are great. I love these. Look at these things. These are these are dope. Fake, are you still out there? Did you did have you played with these yet? Oh, these are super cool. I'll put that one like way over here. Then drop it down later. Leave it behind the tower. Oh yeah. This is fantastic. This is so weird because I swear I just played this in a first edition game like Tuesday. <laughs> It's a very common fantasy motif, I guess, sometimes. If Bert was here, he would he would know exactly what I was talking about. See now that tower looks ridiculously large compared to those ships. That looks better. But now I gotta like re where's that guy? right there 
This is awesome. I did not expect to have time to do this today. I'm so super stoked. I still don't like the way that this tower just does not fit in. I need to, I don't know. <laughs> now it fits in. <laughs> That's too far. That's not right. Nope. Mm, nope. Mm, nope. Mm, nope. Okay, that, but not so much. Oh, I do kind of like that. Now it's like, it's like a, an idea of a tower, right? Instead of like an actual tower, you can sort of see through it. can't decide. I wish I could just make it green. I wish I could just make the tower green. But I don't, it's not, there's no option to let me do that. Turn it into a story thing like it's invisible it's hard to see that's why it's never been found it's camouflaged the tower is camouflaged by the owner and therefore it has never been found and additionally his island moves hence the trailing water down here on the back it's moving it's creating a wake and it's moving. I wonder if I could just, oh, nope, that was the wrong thing to do. Nope, I mean, yes, but no. Um, point three, four, Smooth. I think this. If I do that, can you still see it? Yeah, okay. That's not right. I need a reference image. I need to see how it forms. Yeah, that. This right here, this right here. Okay, so less out and more. Sorry, I'm really in the zone suddenly. It's like, oh, I want mm. And then I was thinking like, do I want to play Starbound later? Calvin, you still there? You want to play Starbound later? I haven't, um, roughness. I'm just gonna leave it like that before I screw it up too much and then I don't like it anymore. Uh, what time, or how long is that gonna be? What do you think? An hour or so, okay. I'm gonna leave it like that. I actually like it just like that right now. It gets the point across of what I'm trying to say with the map and it'll give the players pause 
to think about like, do we really want to go do this? <laughs> so I'm going to save it. 263 changes, man. Thank you for not crashing Google Chrome. <laughs> oh Christ, I still have the still have the pirate stuff on. Uh, I mean it's funny. Keep it. Ooh, what's this? Paranormal pirates, Calvin. Oh, it's your favorite pirate. Savvy. You want to see something super weird? I'll show you something super weird. Oh, 